Hey guys and welcome back to another Django tutorial. Now today's video is going to be a bit shorter and all I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to use the Django admin dashboard. This relates directly to databases and how you can see all of your different tables and entries and all of that. I'm going to be quickly showing you a few more things you can do with databases in terms of how to delete stuff and how to get um, like lists of entries. So for example, say you wanted to sort all of the entries or say you wanted to get all of the entries that started with a certain letter or something, I'll show you how to do that. This is known as querying and there's a ton of different commands for querying. So I'm not going to be showing you all of them, uh, but I'm sure you guys can look them up or we'll probably be using them throughout the series. So you will learn them. Now I'm in my main directory right now, my, my site directory. The first thing I'm going to do is just quickly uh, extend what I did in the last video and show you how you can get a list of different entries and add more than one, because this will be good when we go in the admin dashboard uh, to see more than one entry. So I'm just going to do Python manage.py and then shell. And what I'm going to do in here is again, import, uh, what do you call it? Our models. So from main dot models import, and then here we'll do item and we'll do to, to do list like that. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to get all of the items in to do list and show you how we can kind of search for certain items. So I'm just going to say T equals to do list dot objects dot all like that or actually let's just do dot objects so now we don't have to keep typing that we can just type t when we want to say for example get all of the objects we can just do t dot all like that uh, and then we get a query set that gives us all of the objects but let's say we want to search for an object and before we knew how to get one using like the id equal to one but what if we want to get all of the objects in our set that start with the letter t or that start with tim or something like that well, there's a way to do that and it's known as filtering. So if we want to filter our query set and get all of the uh, objects or all of the data that fits a specific uh, criteria, we can say t.filter and then we can name the criteria. So in this case, I could say name and then I believe you can just do under underscore starts with equals and in this case, Tim. So there's a ton of like there's a ton of these double underscore things that you can use. I don't know all of them. You'd have to look them up to get them all. But if I do this and I hit enter, you can see that we get the same set because obviously this starts with Tim. Now, if I do this again and I say like maybe Bob, you see we get an empty query set. And this is a way that you can check if a specific element you're looking for is in the set rather than trying to get it and raising an exception. So for example, if I want to get something that has ID equal to two and I filter that rather than getting an error, we just get an empty query set because none of the IDs are equal to two, right? So that's how we can kind of check if uh, what we're looking for actually exists in the database. So that's how you get stuff. Now to delete stuff is pretty straightforward. You just have to actually get that database object first. So I'm going to say Dell underscore object is equal to and in this case we'll say t dot get id equals one now if i want to delete this very simple we'll just do del underscore object dot delete like that and if you hit enter we will delete this object so now if i type t again um sorry t dot all you can see that we have an empty query set because we've obviously deleted the to-do list that we've added so let's just create two more to-do lists really simply and we'll just say t uh, t1 equals to do list like this and we'll just say name equals first list and then we'll do t1 dot save and then we'll do the same thing here with uh what do you call it t2 and we'll just call it second list just so this way when i start doing the admin dashboard stuff which will be in one second um, then we'll be able to see more than one entry. So we'll say second list and then T2 dot save like so won't bother any adding any items. That's actually it. If you need to get out of this, you can just type quit like that. And there we go. All right. So now we've added some things into our database. So let's go to our admin dashboard now. So how do we do that? Well, our first step to accessing the admin dashboard is to create a login account. So right now, if we actually run our server and we say Python manage.py run server, uh, server will start running. We can copy this domain here and we can go to it. Now, remember we actually have this uh, directory or uh, link, which is slash admin. And when I do this, it actually brings me to this Django admin dashboard. 
The thing is though, what username and what password should we use? Well, we don't have any, so we need to actually create one. So I'm going to stop running this for a second. And what I'm going to do is create a uh, login. So I'm going to say Python manage.py and then I believe it is create super user. Yeah, it is. So there we go. Create super user. And then in this case, what we'll do is just give a username, email and password. So I'm going to put Tim as my username. I'll say Tim at tech with Tim.net. And then for a password, I'll just do one, two, three, four for now. All right. Uh, password is too short. Okay. Okay. So I'll just use another password then. Um, what is it? What is it saying here? Bypass password. Okay. So it just said that's fine. I can use that as a password anyways. Let's uh, now try to sign into our admin dashboard and actually see what we're getting. So let's say Tim and then my password and click login and you, oh, well, it would help if I ran the server. My apologies on that. Let's run that. And now let's refresh this, continue. And there we go. We are now inside of our admin dashboard. Now we have this groups and this users database, which is actually storing, if I go to users, the users that we just created. So Tim, for example, right? And that's one database that's there. Uh, same for groups. This, this is a bit different. We, we don't need anything for that. Now, the thing is, where's our other database? We created that database and we've been using it that has our to-do list in it. Well, we actually need to give the dashboard uh, kind of access to that database. This is really easy to do, uh, but I'm just going to open up my subline text again here. And what we need to do to do this is go to, what do you call it? Our uh, I believe it is admin.py inside of what do you call it? The main application folder here. All right. So we just have to start, start by importing our models. So, so from models import, and in this case, we can just import the model that we care about in this case, which is to do list because items are going to be stored within a to do list. And then we just do admin dot site dot register. And then in this case we do to do list which means that now we will actually be able to see the to-do list on our admin site. Uh, so that's, that's all we have to do for that. So now this should actually automatically have updated, but it may not have. Yeah, it did not. So let's just rerun our server quickly. Oh, there we go. It says reloading. Okay. So now this should hopefully be updated. If I refresh this work, 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 uh, I guess not. Okay. So let's just try this again. Slash admin. Okay, so there we go. Sorry, I've just I've been messing around. So now I'm back slash admin. And now you can see that under main, which is our application main, we have the database and model to do list. So if I open this, you can see that we have first list and second list. Now, this is a quick way as well. If you want to change elements or delete stuff, you can go in here. And obviously, you can just click delete or you could save stuff, you can see the history of it, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of how the admin dashboard works in terms of viewing your databases. I figured I would just quickly show this to you guys because it's a really useful tool to make sure that what you're doing is actually working properly. But remember, if you create a new application or you're creating a new model, you have to actually add that and register it from within your admin.py file inside of your application. So if I wanted to add the items, for example, then I would have to do item, the item model, and I would have to import item. So let's just try that quickly and make sure everything's working with that wait for this to uh, refresh here. If I do this, let's go fresh. All right, maybe we'll just end it and then reload it. Oh, and all right, it says it reloaded. So let's try this. If I go here and I refresh this. Now you can see we have items. And if I go to items, obviously there's nothing because we don't have any items. So anyways, that's been the admin dashboard. In the next video, we're going to go into templates, which will be a much longer video on dynamically showing these kind of this information on our website. Oh, 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 oh,